Okay, Ravi, you won your game today after five draws. How does it feel? Yeah, it's a relief because I kept messing up winning positions. So I was a bit worried it would happen again today, but yeah, it didn't, which is nice. Yeah, you feel you had it under control most of the way? Um, yeah, after she played F5, it was probably uh, not a great move. And after that, I think it was almost lost already. Um, I don't know. It, it just seemed like her position was so difficult after that. Um, and then she had also low time. So yeah, it was, it was fine. It felt comfortable. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the game. Ravi, you played H3 in this Choco Pianissima position. What happened next? Uh, I forgot, what did she play next? H6. Played, yeah, yeah. H6. <laughs> it's yeah, I guess it's the main move. I mean, she, like, there, there are lots of options. You can also play bishop b6, or so, I sure. don't know, bishop a7. For, I don't think it makes a huge difference. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, after h6, I played d4. You played d4, yeah. Which I played before. It was quite strange, because um, I played it in one of my last games, and she was, like, taking her time here, so... Yeah, maybe she missed the game or something because um, okay. I so was a bit worried because like, she doesn't really play a5 so much and I didn't prepare it hugely. Um, so I was a bit worried that she looked at the game, but then it turned out she probably hadn't. So, okay. yeah, got a bit lucky. That was a bonus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so you, uh, she retreated. Because I, I guess the main line instead of d4 is probably like... Just take it? I, I mean, instead oh, of d4 no. is probably like knight d2. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, might do too, yeah. yeah. And then bishop e6, bishop b5. Yeah, bishop b5, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, and there's like loads of moves here. Um, it's a bit but, of a Ray Lopez, really, once you get bishop b5 in, isn't it? Yeah, um, I guess black's plan is sometimes like bishop a7, knight e7, knight g6, and then kick the bishop with c6. Um, yeah, okay. But yeah, I played d4 straight away. So. You played d4, yeah. Because <laughs> like, yeah, I hadn't... I have only prepared this one, um, like not the other one. So mm -hmm. even if she had some prep, I was fine. I was just like, yeah. Um, and then played. bishop b6. Yeah, bishop a7 is also a move. And I forgot what to do. Okay. I mean, I still do the same thing. But if we do what happened in the game, bishop b3. Mm -hmm. uh, shall I use this? Yeah, Sorry. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, bishop c2. And in this position, I forgot what to do. Because I... Th well, I still don't know, because I haven't checked my file yet. Um, but in the game, I played bishop b3 with the bishop on b6. Maybe it's the same, maybe it's not, who knows. Um, well, yeah. You prepared this some time ago and you've forgotten that. No, I prepared it this morning and I oh, forgot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was too busy watching the, Wimbled uh, uh, the Australian Open. Right, okay. <laughs> too much of um, a distraction. Yeah. yeah. But okay, she played bishop okay, b6, bishop yeah. B6, yeah. yeah. Um, and bishop b3, rook e8, bishop c2. Yeah, and here, uh, probably the main ways to do this, I mean, the most critical ways to do this, and she mm -hmm. gets the two bishops, like knight c3 takes. And this was the game I had to play Mickey Adams. Um, okay. Here he played d5. Probably c6 is a tiny bit more accurate. Where was that? What, what was this? It was a London classic rapid. Oh, London yeah. classic rapid, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I just had this position. Anyway, um, but she played bishop d7. And here I couldn't remember what to do. Um, but I felt like bishop b3 was the right move. Mm. And instead of bishop b3, I didn't know like what else I can even do. So yeah. And then this um, happened. Yeah, knight takes, c takes. So and so, yeah. yeah, I was kind of, I didn't really know how to evaluate the position because she has two bishops. Mm -hmm. And I've given away my dark square bishop. But you but, have a big center. I have the center, I have ideas like queen d3 and e5. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit difficult for her to deal with. Yeah. So she played knight h5. I thought knight h7 was interesting too. To like trade the knight on f3 maybe. Right. And like get out of the e5 motive. Here, I didn't, well, I didn't know what I was going to do. I guess one idea is like knight bd2 maybe. And then knight g5 to take and go knight f3. Yeah. But then, uh, yeah. I don't know if I want my knight on f3 or c3. Yeah, it's another line. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe another line. We'll yeah, talk yeah. about that one. <laughs> okay. But um, knight h5 got played. Yeah, and here, well, at first I was a bit worried because it looks quite, quite scary. Like she's going yeah. queen f6, knight f4. Um, yeah, because you haven't got a dark squared bishop now. So yeah. it's kind of difficult, isn't it? Yeah. Um, 
probably spent too much time here on knight c3 instead of queen d2. I was looking at this stupid line with e5. Um, and no, wait, sorry, wrong line. From instead of up to knight c3, That's right? Okay. Knight f4. Oh, sorry, here, sorry. Yeah. yeah, knight f4, knight yeah. four. and then queen d2, queen and f6, then queen f6, yeah. b5, and she takes. I was looking at this, wow. Um, and then maybe takes, and here I have a choice because I can play queen d3. Uh, yeah. Or just take on e5. Well, I can play queen d3 whenever I want, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, quite sure. Yeah, and maybe queen c6 is best. Uh, queen d3? Yeah, queen d3, g6. Mm -hmm. And now I can take. Yeah. But she has bishop page three. It's a bit scary. If you know, yeah, yeah. I was just like, I, I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes you just don't want to deal with this stuff. Like, yeah. even if it's probably objectively best. Um, mm. Yeah, I, I'd spent already like 25 minutes and I was like, I can, can be bothered. Um, and I saw queen d2 and it was just easier. Just play a move that looks right. Genuinely, yeah, yeah, yeah this is this was it. Um, <laughs> Here she played. She F5, played yeah, this F5. Was, F5 is a really bad move. Um, yeah, G6 horribly weakened, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. But inst okay, instead of F5, what does she do? So I mean, the first obvious one is to go Queen F6 anyway. Yeah. But here E5, and the good thing now I uh, yeah. now yeah. the knight's not on F4. Yeah. So she can go Queen F4. My idea was Queen D3, G6, Knight C3. C3. Um, okay, then knight e2 to chase the queen around. Or also. rook e4 even. Or rook e4, yeah. Yeah, she, uh, the pieces are a bit weird. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah the, pieces, the pieces are a bit weird, like queen on f4, knight on h5. Like, she can go bishop, h, bishop f5. Um, mm -hmm. But then queen e2. And yeah, I felt like her pieces were a bit weird here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hard to evaluate that, isn't it? I, yeah. I certainly find it hard. Yeah, but I think I have some control here. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but um, but this yeah. was a was yeah. A... Instead of f5, maybe she should play. I was also looking at c5, c5 to try and get the bishop in the game because in the game, the bishop was just completely out of it. Like it didn't really play mm. a part. Um, but I thought maybe I should have a small edge after knight c3 takes knight takes bring the rook into d1. Yeah. But I don't think she's doing badly here at all. Like. Even though she has a pawn on d6, mm -hmm. she has two bishops. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. It doesn't have to be the end of the world. For no, that, I know, exactly. It? But maybe she should have something better as well. I don't know. I'll check when I go. <laughs> <But> yeah. <laughs> okay, not to worry. Yeah. We'll just look at what did yeah, get yeah. played. F5, F5. yeah. That yeah, I was really surprised. Very, very know. risky, isn't it? And probably yeah. horrible, basically. So you then react, well, you developed. Yeah, I mean. Three? There were other options, but I didn't see anything. We were just developing, natural. yeah. Yeah, very natural um, move. Okay, I don't know what she wants, but yeah. F. You weren't worried about this um, capture on... Oh no, you, you took with a bishop, of course you did. You yeah. Know, looking at bishop takes h3. Uh, but it's um, not even a move. So... And here, rook f8. Rook f8. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know, like, I think it's just really, really bad. Yeah. Like, I genuinely, like, if she doesn't play rook f8, I'll go bishop g6. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. this bishop's just so bad. It is, isn't um, it? yeah. Okay, so rook f8, knight d5. Well, and it's just playing um, itself now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, like, knight is already a big threat. Yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I, yeah. I didn't really know what she could do. Yeah, that, um, I mean, that's maybe she missed this just simply plonking the knight on e7 a couple of moves Yeah, back. It's easy to miss, isn't it, when it's not supported? That's true, because if, if it wasn't, like, if she could play c6 yeah. and... I take on b6, say, yeah. queen takes b6, then she's probably, well, not, maybe not completely equal, but she has counterplay. Yeah. Um, yeah, that moved yeah. Oh, right, yes, yeah, yeah. But king h8 doesn't really help very much, does it, so? Yeah, but she has to play king h8, like, there's no other... Yeah. But, yeah, the, the, sure. the fact that she wastes a move on king h8. Yeah. Um, it's bad news, isn't it? I hear, here I was planning g4 originally. And the point is like knight f6, knight h4. And if she takes on e4, I have knight g6. And I, mean, yeah. I can take on f8 with check. Yeah. Um, but here I think bishop e8 might be okay. Oh, okay. 
And if Knight F4, then she can take. Yeah. Um, so again, this was something that I didn't really want to deal with. Um, yeah. So instead I played just Bishop C2, which I think is simple. Yeah. Because the point is now I'm threatening Knight E7 and Queen D3. Well, like not Queen D3 straight away, but there are a lot of lines where Queen D3 comes in handy. Um, um, Ian, you're just not bothered by Bishop takes H3, yeah. which comes next, because you've got so much... Because our king is just weaker. The king and is so weak, yeah. This is not threatening anything. Yeah, and 97 now for queen's out the game. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and it's uh, gone now, completely gone. I didn't there? see anything. No, if there was nothing, I yeah. think. I looked at it with a, an and engine. It wasn't offering anything of any, any great note. But the fact that you can yeah. get two knights attacking g6 yeah. is the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I mean, rook f6 was try, but I probably can just take. And if knight yes. takes king h1. Um, right. Okay. Because yeah, like knight g6 just comes like this doesn't really help. Oh sorry. Yeah. King, king g2. Well, king g1's probably fine, but king g2. Um, yeah. And like, yeah, she can resign. So. Yeah, it's all over now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks very yeah. much. No worries.